all the fish back there are getting rocked. But I'm on my way out to one of the first places that I ever fished on the Kansas River. My goodness, what is going on here? And so it's been a long time since I've been back here. A few years, maybe, a couple years. These are the kind of places I was talking about, some of my favorite places to fish on the Kansas River. But when there's a drought, I mean, and half of the Kansas River looks like it. Like a sand volleyball pit, you know, then all these spots back here just are terrible. And uh, the bugs are bad because all the drying out sand and mud mixed together. So um, I haven't been out here in a while. Um, place I'm gonna go to is what uh, we used to call it the marijuana fields. Uh, first time we fished it, um, fish sticks. The, the road is great. Um, the first time we fished it, it was just completely covered in, in marijuana and weed, the devil's lettuce was growing all over the place. And so, <laughs> oh my, it's gonna be really flooded out here. This is a place where a lot of people test their vehicles um, in the mud back here a lot. It's almost eight o'clock in the morning. I wish it was almost eight o'clock at night. But um, there's a huge island and when it gets Okay, there's two different ways here. I can either go that way. Sometimes it's uh, muddy and you can almost slip off. Or there's a huge hill over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and park. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. Okay, so there's a, there's a large island back here, and I'm glad I didn't take that way. Okay, so I'm gonna park up in here. So I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna check it out, guys. Oh, a little muddier in the field than I thought. Wow. <laughs> I think I've been leaking a little bit back here. My goodness, that lid's not on there very good. All right, I, I actually have two, bucket, two buckets today, so. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this out and carry a bucket at the same time. Man, this is, it's hard to pass right here because it. If you look at it, it goes all the way through the entire field. I hope that's not poison ivy. Oh, who cares? Oh yeah, it's really. Oh wow, yeah. Too muddy. All right, guys, uh, let me try and uh, figure out a different way to check it out real quick. I don't have a quad on me or anything. All right, I found a, real, a little walk around. I'm going to go all the way over from that way. My car is over there. I probably... And I left the bucket. So... This is what I'd have to be... Yeah, I drove down this one time. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that again. I might just have to go fish 435 like everybody else. Uh, I was hoping that between the island and where I'm at right now, there's a creek that it raises up sometimes when it's really high and you'll see it's pretty high it's not high <laughs> it's not too high i mean it's got some flow going through it but it's not as high as i've seen it and you'll see it i am yeah People cross right here over to the island. It's pretty shallow in there. So, yeah, I don't want to fish here. Sorry to waste your time. All right, finally found a place that wasn't flooded. 
and it is actually really a, more of a kayak launch ramp it's a nice day out so i want to try somewhere i've been like five places today without able to get my car through um it's just been a struggle there's other pla uh, places i've tried to go that people said they had to almost swim to get the uh, to the spot the last time i was here you couldn't even put a kayak out on it it was so it was just rocks and like a little stream right now it's about it's about 50 60 feet across like it's it's real good all right that wasn't too bad guys i just walked through this trail right here if you can see that it opens up here now there's a little island there and you got some of the kansas kansas river water coming through here but that's the main channel out there so this is actually got the bait in the shade it's actually not really that bad because over there there's about uh, there's about 40 foot drop offs to get a fish in here yeah, it looks doable. It looks like you definitely get muddy. Definitely get muddy, but man. And it also it's kind of like a kind of like a like a triangle. So you got your main channel way out there. This is kind of coming this is coming from the main channel, but there's an island island in between and there's another island right there. And it just kind of goes through there. And then you can t turn the corner here. And then you can fish Cedar Creek, which is a lot calmer. So, I'm gonna get some poles out. Got a number call me, I don't know. All right, get a pole out. All right, going with some live bait on the uh, Eastwood cat stick. Let's see what we got down here. Here we go. See, I got one in the creek already. Pretty live, very big live bait. So, um, I'm gonna go a little bit to the left of that. There we go. I think I've got. Oh. I don't know if I'm oh, I got one. Something. First catfish on the ah oh he's biting good 
Eastwood cat stick. Ah. Not bad. Let's get it back out there. This is the first fish for this spot. I'd say he's 10 pounds, eight to 10, maybe 12. Back in the water, boy. Get back in the water, boy. I think I got something on here. Check it out. <clears throat> they kind of slow. I think the the fish kind of are confused a little bit. Let's see. But there's a lot of there's a lot of debris, so I'm not sure. I could have just gotten Oh, no, there's something on there. There's something on there. Down here. Not very big, I don't think. Hey. Calm down, cowboy. Hey, calm down, cowboy. Wow, that's a skinny, skinny blue. Skinny blue. Oh. All right, look at this, the size of the head compared to the body. Guys, look at the size of the head of this fish compared to this, how slender it is. There it is. Oh, oh, he's really, he's, I'm not lying, he's, He's all spawned up. You can see all that. Probably knocked the camera out. You can see all the see all the holes. That's crazy. The spawn was rough with this guy. All right. Well, they're biting a little, they're biting a little slow, but hey, it's action, I guess. Ow! <laughs> but what they make, they make up for it with their bite, what they lack in size, so I'm happy. I got a couple, a couple of little little guys still alive. The last one, uh, last one bit on a, a little crappie. So I'm gonna do a little guy like this out there. Three-way rig is doing me all right. All right. It's a big hook for a little guy, but I'm gonna get him in there. So I'm casting like right on the outside of that current. Uh, obviously, I've seen some full trees come by. So, but that's my strategy for right now. 
you want to call that a strategy. Tell that's debris or a fish. Wiggle it in a little bit. All right, so at this point, I was pretty worn out, and since I got snagged and uh, the bite had slowed down, I decided to go home. Um, I had been out all day looking for spots. So I definitely want to try this spot at another evening time into the night um, and when the flats are a little bit more aggressive. So I uh, look forward to the next time going out there.